Yo, what's poppin' guys? Kai Zerka here with another Elder Kings 2 video. Of how much I've been playing this mod, you might as well say that this game is now Elder Kings. It's no longer Crusader Kings. But today, we are going to be mixing it up by playing as a city of feet. Yeah, Potentate, Ike's Nearest Vest. I'm just gonna, that's how I'm gonna call him, Ike's Nearest Vest. I know that's probably wrong. But yeah, I wanna mix it up a little bit. Stay to see the Golden Skin Snake people on Akadir. That sounds pretty cool. We're gonna be playing in Iron Man mode. No achievements, of course, says this is modded, so let's just get right into it. So if you didn't know, this mod is unparalleled in level of detail. Look at this. If you have the White Gold Tower, then your Royal Court is the White Gold Tower. You get the Imperial Throne. It's... Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at that. They even have, of course, the Ruby Throne. This looks amazing. The Seat of Sundered Kings. And just the level of detail on like my character model too, that is such a beautiful like CSC Cyrodiil hybrid outfit. It's so perfect for a potentate to wear. And there we go, we got some Akaviri banners flying above the ruby throne. Brilliant. So yeah, there is like the Empire of Tamriel, but I'd have to hold everything. I'm, I'm not gonna go that far. I don't think I'm a good enough player to do that. Yeah, my goal is not to conquer all of Tamriel, right? I, I've given up on that dream. My goal is to hold Cyrodiil. I don't have to get all of it, right? But I want to try to establish, like, a new Akavir, basically, in Cyrodiil and spread my religion. I have really good diplomacy, actually. What if I went for a diplomacy playthrough? I haven't actually gone down the diplomacy tree, like... 160 or whatever hours of playing CK3 so far, so I may actually try that out. That seems like it could fit, you know, a, a ruler of Cyrodiil playthrough. Okay, we have less troops than them. We are going to fight Atrevis, who his end of the war is the one that, like, cast out the Akaviri from Cyrodiil, and a lot of Akaviri ended up settling in elsewhere, so especially, like, Rimmon. That's cool, they have a little bit of war with already having the <laughs> Akaviri settled, down here in Hakushe. That is something I wish that ESO did a little better, because look, they get a whole custom culture from the Ilnaviri, the Sayasi that d fled Cyrodiil. They have a whole custom culture, and they, they look unique compared to the other, like, Imperials and stuff like that. I wish ESO did something similar by at least, the very least, like, customizing each Hakushe character to make them look unique, or like a specific culture, kind of. But like this game, this mod for uh, Crusader Kings gives them their own custom culture, and ESO just made them Imperials. Now I get that's a couple of generations later, right? So yeah, it's it's plausible they interpreted Imperials enough to be indistinguishable. But I don't know. It always came across as lazy to me. This is the way to do it. This is just so cool. This mod, insane. I'm genuinely like one of the best Elder Scrolls experiences out there right now. That's enough rambling. I gotta. I actually gotta fight a war. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know exactly how this works, but I'm pretty sure this lets me, like, drink blood or something, which, again, lore-friendly because the CSE are described as eating the people of Akavir, and they're also kind of described as vampiric as well, so this this is a pretty cool addition. I like this, that the CSE already, at release of the mod, have, like, flavor. A lot of cultures in CK3 don't even have flavor, and, like, this is, like, two years in. This is a mod for a different universe with a whole entire continent of like all these different races and cultures and governments and then they, they even include like a single like ruler to have this special this is this is insane i, I can't stress how insane this is i'm <laughs> chaste craven and ambitious grandparents ah severian chorak that is cool it says the curtain of captive blood so i think i have to get prisoners to do this I don't have any prisoners, that might be the problem. While the Elder Scrolls may have some incredibly racist people, at the very least, they're not sexist. Gender law equal. I mean, I mean, you gotta hand it to them, right? Kind of progressive, kind of kind of feminist. Girl boss moment. So because of the essence to reducing our fertility, and we have the chaste fertility deficit, I think that family focus and diplomacy is probably our best bet. Because we still get plus two, it's not the full plus three, but I mean, we have we have pretty high diplomacy already. Next, we need to marry and try to find a good alliance that might also give us decent children. You know what, I think that getting Eastern Skyrim on our side isn't a bad idea. So yeah, we're gonna pull a, a gamer 
yeah, oof, gamer moment, but it has to be done. This is going to get us the most allies. So, send proposal. We need the allies because, I mean, we have a war to win. They have more soldiers than us, so this will definitely even the odds. So I think that this diplomacy and intrigue combination is our best bet. Plus, hostile scheme success chance. That's going to help us if we need to, like, abduct someone or something or, like, murder. Yeah, become a follower of Zisa. There we go. Now we need to choose our dynasty legacy. Inner Circle is tempting, but like, it doesn't seem... I don't know, it just doesn't seem that strong. Night effectiveness is always good, but this like... I don't know, it just doesn't fit the theme. I mean, yeah, the CSC Great Warriors, Akaviri... I don't know though, I've done this so many times too. It's kind of... it seems like something that's better fitted for like an orc playthrough, I think. Okay, I think Guile might be pretty fun. I mean, we could get our Dread up. We could. Be, I mean, we're a Snake King, right? A Dread is pretty natural. I think that fits. Plus, Hostile Schemes, that also fits the CSC, like, aesthetic of being, like, snakes and, like, doing all that cool stuff, so bribing. Yeah, I think this might be really good, and it seems pretty fun, too. I haven't done Guile yet on any playthrough, plus all this gold increase, if we have... It's pretty easy to get Intimidated Vassals. And finally, this is going to be huge. I think this makes a lot of sense because, as many of you probably know, the Morag Tong assassinated a CSC potentate. So this will prevent a murder scheme against one dynasty member each, right? So yeah, that's going to save you from those Morag Tong agents in Dark Brotherhood. I think this is like the most lore-friendly CSC tree. So let's go for this. And I could actually get a second tree okay hostile scheme success chance very nice i'm going to just raise everyone and hope we could like make it over here in time 30 and 30 both of these guys have a lot okay of commander advantage we're dang we got really good guys 26 is like our next these guys are so strong what how even i have 17 that's not bad okay they added jungles to cyrodiil that's pretty cool. I appreciate that lore moment. Okay, let's just actually start the game for the first time. Finally in pause, I think we've made all necessary preparations. A, there we go. We're gonna have Eastern Skyrim joining the Akaviri against the Imperials. We have Hakoshe on our side as well. Mm. Let's let's siege some of the neighboring provinces first. That way we can get all our allies clumped together. I'm not sure what to do. I might have you come around here. You stay still and just defend. Like I said, I gotta play it really safe. I am Iron Man mode makes me very cautious. That's good to see. We have Bravil on our side. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not though. Where is our Skyrim for allies? Oh they're Oh, this is gonna take them a while. Okay, maybe I could catch these guys off guard. Come on, join me. Join the fight. Let's wipe these guys out. We have a massive advantage. They're gonna jump in, but it, it won't even matter. Okay, that's a good first battle. Let's take a look at this. We killed 3,000 of them, and we only lost 800. That's... And we captured this guy. Okay, very cool. Now they have a lot less troops than us. And once Eastern Skyrim gets over here, it's gonna be all over for them. They're they're very, very slowly making their way. Hopefully they get here before the war is over. We're at a disadvantage, but we outnumber them so much that it doesn't even matter. They have 37? What? Wow, that's insane. These Cyrodiils are strong. Wow. Singing me a famous Il Naviri love ballad. I mean, he's a neighboring ruler. I think we can afford to have a bit of romance with him. It'll help us have peaceful neighbors. Skyrim is finally, like, in Cyrodiil. <laughs> and we're sieging their capital. Oh, they're sieging us a lot. That's not looking too good. But we're already here. And we siege them. Cool, now let's go defend our land. Oh, so she beat him in a duel for me. Yeah, I'll I'll take you. Okay. Scheme at court. Someone's plotting to kill me. 
Okay, let's make sure I am protected. Disrupt schemes. That would be very sad if I got assassinated. Oh no, we're getting destroyed. Oh, that was not good. Oh, I left all these troops behind. No wonder I did so poorly. I didn't even realize that they were separate still. I'm just gonna do this just so I could like remember. My vassal is challenging me. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll try this. It'll give me diplomacy. Wedding celebration. Oh, I could get a bunch of gold. I will take that. Wedding feast. Yes. They have more troops than us now. How did that happen? Okay, we're just gonna have to hope that we pile in enough. Come on. Okay, that helped. That was good. Will we win here? Okay, we should win this. Okay, cool. Schemer. It's my rival. Of, of course it is. The hysterical fiend. Okay, wipe you out. That brings him down to close to our level. Okay. Okay. We're back up to positive number. That's good. We still have less troops than them, though. But we wiped out double the troops they wiped out from us. Oh, that's cool. He's named after- there's an Akaviri guy in Oblivion. He's one of the ghosts. An Akaviri ghost, and he has the name Mishaxi. I think the name is like a reference to Musashi, the famous Japanese swordsman. That's just a theory. Let's try consuming you. Ah, oh, it gave me stress. This is so sad. I want the King of Whiterun to be my friend. That sounds- that sounds good. I'm gonna get Skyrim on my side. I already have the East, let's just get the center. Ooh, I have an heir. Tamrillion. Yes, your name will be Tamrillion. Oh, we have an enemy ally join the war. I need more mercenaries. Oh, now... Now you're coming this way. Okay. Ha. <laughs> 100%. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. Enforce demands. I stay potentate of Cyrodiil, and General Latrebus is thrown into the dungeon, and the confederacy of the Catalovian estates is dissolved. A crushed rebellion. The upstart warlord Atrebus has been defeated. The lords who joined his cause have been forced to walk back to their home, their tail between their legs. Our victory has bought us time, but who knows what the future holds. We are going to eat you, good sir. A victory, but perhaps a turning point. They have now been split up. Very cool. Much weaker. And we have a bunch of prisoners. Let's do this. Consume. 250? Okay. Ah, uh, it didn't help. Dang, that's so sad. Still ate him though. Pretty based. I could. My next goal could be the Heartlands Potentate. If I could control all of the Heartlands, we could make a new Potentate. And we'll be native to it. I could create the title. Okay. I have the title. I have to hold it for 10 years and I have to completely control the rest of it. Our goal is just to be friendly with everyone and keep them from fighting us, and hopefully we can just stick around for 10 more years and get this rolling. I could offer you vassalage. You will even take regular obligations? Now we just need these two other little areas. We have a migration thing, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like the Varangian feature in Northern Lords, which makes sense for the Stacey. That's literally what they did. They're like, all the way from Akavir, and then they decided to make their home in Cyrodiil. I mean, that's that's pretty lore accurate. That's a pretty good use of that. I'm gonna seize this. They're, they don't stand a chance. 100% enforce. Boom. Okay, now we just need this, and we will have the Heartlands. 100%. Let's wipe them out, too. And I, I got him. Cool. Enforce demands. So be it. Oh, there we go. We have all of the Heartlands. Okay, our culture is not very spread. Neither is our religion. I think we could try to convert the Imperial City. That might be cool. I could marry Mana Marco. I could. 
he would accept. I mean, a cute, ingenious... That's, that'd be some pretty strong kids. Sure, he's 477, but I mean, he looks pretty young. Kind of a femboy, if you ask me. Cultural and religious protection, that's fine. Let's just get him to join us, that's, that's what matters. We're getting larger and larger just through the power of friendship. Everyone's joining us. We're actually getting kind of big now. That is, that's decent. Will you join? You will. At zero, just barely. Okay. There we go. That is, that's kind of, kind of large. Relatively large. I gotta say, that's impressive. We're getting, we're not like, you know, we're not like Cyrodiilic Empire or anything. We're not even Cyrodiil, but we got a pretty sizable chunk of land here. Rally the troops. Oh no. That's not too good. Get Mana Marco, King of Worms, to join us. And <laughs> Queen Freitas, the Honest of Skyrim. We got the King of Worms and the Honest Queen of Skyrim. What beautiful allies. Join me. Hundred percent. Boom. I guess we got lucky and chose the right target to start with. Very cool. We kept it together. Ah, uh, okay. I've been trying to figure out how to like form a hybrid culture with the Heartlanders, but it seems like hybrid cultures aren't a thing in Elder King, sadly. So we're just gonna have to do this the hard way. Interesting. He had like a German name. I died. Rod killed me. This is so sad. Oh no. Oh, oh wait, we have Heartlands. Interesting. I'm in the Nordic Pantheon. Oh no. Gross, I want to convert. Excellent. We now have the Temple of Chim. Kaim. Feck moment. Join us. Oh, you won't join us. Remote? How are you remote? You're not remote. Religious, yes, join. We now have all of North, most of Northeastern in our belt. Ah, uh, yes, to the south we have Canalus and Canalus. Mm, I will take the dog. A, I get a dog. Nosewise or Shadow? I will name you Nosewise. What a great name. Uh, I could bring my dog to the council meeting. I don't want them to lose opinion of me though. No, I'll bring my dog with. You could come. Wow, my dog was such a good dog. Good dog. Let's try converting. And I can do it. And a lot of people would recur would convert with me. This actually is, is pretty useful that this it worked out this way because all of these guys are gonna convert and this will just make my life a whole lot easier Ooh, so many people converted oh we have a new heir and you're a genius brilliant Alrighty, guys i think this is the perfect place to end this video so we successfully defended our sayacy rule from the imperials who wanted to overthrow us on top of that we have converted much of the heartland to our faith including the imperial city and we've been converting culture a bit as well. The Imperial City, the heart of Tamriel itself, is now a Sayasi city. And of course, our house has been spread far and wide. Not only that, but we married the King of Worms, Manamarco, and had a daughter who is a genius. I would definitely call this a success in establishing a new Akavir. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more content. But yeah, guys. Kaiser are out. Peace and booyah.